Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fantasy Zone 2, the Tears of Opa Opa. Yay. May I ask a question? Yes. Who's Opa Opa? Opa Opa, you know, the spaceship that we were playing as in the first game. It's been a long time. It's only been like a couple weeks, I think. Double oh, wait, rainbow! No. There's a double- Oh my god, there's a triple rainbow. <laughs> in the logo? Yeah. Do you see- Tell me you guys saw the triple rainbow. I kinda saw it. Wait a minute, I, I have a feeling that this was added in. No! no. Really? <laughs> well, what makes you think it was added in? And yes, that was the very first death. Really? What, Already? Yeah, I know, but I figured like, I would just started the level, so, so... So I'm gonna let it slide. Then again, you are pretty outmatched by turtles, tornadoes, and snowmen. Yeah. And whatever those things are. <laughs> yeah. So like, so like, it's pretty, the gameplay is pretty much the same as the first one. Destroy all the bases, but this, but this time like, in some, in some of the bases have like those warp zones where you could head on a different section of the level, sections of the level, and get, get like, a, yeah, and so that way that there were where more ships are, and that makes the game longer than the first one, but it makes it longer, but it makes the second game longer than it needs to be. I still don't get it. <laughs> Boy, Captain is sure are confusing. Yes, they are. So, about them audiobooks and the related videos. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, yeah, there's the Communist yeah, Manifesto and the Moby Dick, <laughs> all like two <laughs> hours long. <laughs> there's audiobooks in a, in a related video about a, about a spaceship that shoots things. For that no totally reason. makes sense. <laughs> that totally makes sense. I just desperately want to be watched. And they're yeah. like, watch me, watch me. Please. Mm. <laughs> uh, the one thing I don't like is that Opa Opa moves painfully slow at the beginning. It doesn't matter who we are. <laughs> what the? It <laughs> Yeah, but now that I've got the normal engine, this, I'm much, much used to having a much faster controlling spaceship. So now we have a special guest, uh, that was Bane. <laughs> yes, that was Bane. 10,000 views. <laughs> Instantly. Yes, because Bane did it. <sighs> oh, like, or, 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 better, or better yet, or better yet do it. I ready I like do what do what some um, rage play comps did. Add jo at randomly add Johnny from Brain Scratch. <laughs> For so, no reason. Yes, Johnny. And then all of a sudden a thousand views on this video. These graphics, they don't look like an Atari graphics, but I think I would like the Atari graphics better than these graphics. These are just kind of annoying. Why like, more details? I don't know, I don't like them. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll what did the red red warp thing do? It's a it takes you to the boss. It's too oh. flowery and annoying. I don't like it. And now we're facing our first boss, a tree. Wispy Woods. A yes. Tree. <laughs> yes, we're facing Wisp Wispy Woods' cousin. How Wispy many Woods. How many games has some type of plant as the first boss? I mean, really? <laughs> um, let's see, Kirby, next game, um... The game I'm doing for 5th gen, the, um, Adventure Story. Yeah, that one. Even though nobody's and, seen that boss yet, so... Yeah, not yet. As of the time of this... Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, but at the time of this recording, Adventure Story has not been uploaded yet. What the f I have no idea what those things are, either. What is going on? <laughs> this is... I have no... I have no idea. This game is weird. And not in a good way. I'm good uh, about a three-way as long as there's... Lady in the middle of this and me way. I can... One, one, problem I, one problem I had while recording this was, um... Like, what, like when I was trying to mash the button, obviously, like... Like, I was having a few problems with button mashing during the recording, but... 
Like, but since, but since, like, one of the upgradable weapons you can get is an auto fire, that pretty much, that, that pretty much takes away all the problems, but I don't get the auto firing weapon until in the later part. I don't know, this weapon that you're using now looks pretty effective. <laughs> yeah. But it wore, but it wore off. Although, like, the firebomb is the most effective weapon in it, but it's the shortest lasting one of all of them, and it instantly destroys bases in one shot. Tactical nuke inbound. So, who has heard the Slenderman song by Prince of Floss? I have. Same. The Slenderman. The Slenderman can. <laughs> Best song ever. <laughs> who can make your soul die? <laughs> <laughs> With a passing glance. I love Brental Floss. You can't not love Brental Floss. Yeah, if you don't like Brental Floss, then what's wrong with you? Get off the internet. Yeah, how dare you not like something everyone else likes? You're not allowed to have opinions. This is the internet. No. You've lost your privilege to speak. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like, yeah, and, and one, one thing I will definitely know, that like, that like, there, there is, there is like a remake of this game, but it was included, but it's all in a, in the Fantasy Zone Complete Collection on the PS2, but that game was only released in Japan. Of course. They're being... Japan being gets every games. Yeah, Japan gets the better stuff. If I had a proper PS2 emulator, I would have done the remake over this one in a, in a flash, because that one looks so much better. I... I can, like, prove that Japan gets better stuff than us, because, uh, bruh, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, because in Japan, Yoshi is a dragon, but in, like, America, he's a dinosaur. No, I want him to God be a dark damn it, Japan. A stupid dinosaur. There's nothing like cool about a dinosaur. Yeah. So, Yoshi was a dragon to begin with. No offense to all the dinosaurs watching. He's still yes. a dragon to me. Yeah, I still call him a dragon. I got into a heated argument with my brother one time when we were playing Mario Party. Like, way long ago when we were little kids because I said he was a dragon he said he was a dinosaur. Technically, dinosaurs we're both kind of right, but... Yeah, technically. Dinosaurs don't breathe fire. Your argument is invalid. Well, I, I don't know. You gotta think, though, iguanas don't breathe fire, but Godzilla does, so... Yeah. No, no, false. He breathes, uh... What is it? Plasma nuclear, stuff. Nuclear... Nuclear breath or something? Something like that. Let's this is the rainbow fire. I was talking about. Yeah, like, this, this boss is pretty easy. Little did I know that there would be a lot more rainbows in this video. Yep. <laughs> I was <laughs> I, I I think I I think I now know to name the first part. Rainbows, Bang. rainbows everywhere. Yes. I I maybe I maybe I could title it something MLP related, but that would be too cliche. And the boss is dead. Oh man, all that guy wanted to do was just spit spit hammers in its little tiny existence. Really? Yeah, that's <laughs> I have that on my phone. Yeah, that's a definitely a great way to end a part off. <laughs> See you in part two. Bye. Bye.